Hello and welcome to the 100 meditation tips. In this tip, we're looking at the practice of letting go and how letting go can help develop and increase our meditation practice. In the trade, you know, in the in the Buddhist uh, texts, they talk about non-attachment. Um, and one modern way of expressing this is letting go, or say, so non-attachment is a mind that has less reduced attachment in it. As you probably found when you're trying to meditate, the mind is full of thoughts full of distractions about things to do with the past and the future. Most of these distractions are our attachments um, on one level or another. If we're not getting distracting in meditation, then we're simply sinking and falling asleep. These are the two main obstacles for a meditator. So what we're really looking at trying to accomplish is letting go of our attachments. Now this is a huge, huge subject um, and there are many, many different nuances and depth to this practice and it's important to reflect on it quite deeply because a knee-jerk reaction to reducing our attachment uh, becomes quite defensive. You know, we think, oh, I have to let go of everything, I have to abandon my family, I have to abandon my friends, I have to live like a beggar, or what, you know, it's like an extreme response, thinking that, you know, money's no good, having a nice car isn't good, having a nice partner isn't good, eating nice food isn't good. This is extreme. Um, really, the way to reduce our attachments is not by, like, giving things up, external things, necessarily. That may come later, but initially, uh, we're not necessarily giving everything up, giving our, all our possessions away. We are trying to change our approach, we're trying to change our mind towards things. And not just material things, um, obvious attachments, but actually non-material things, such as ideas, beliefs. Um, and you know, often our attachment to our ideas and beliefs and our projects and our reputation are actually deeper than our attachment to, to physical things. You know, one of the reasons why we get into arguments and disagreements with people is because often we have a very, very strong attachment to our view and we're unwilling to budge and change our view. So, one of the first ways of getting over a strong attachment and letting go is recognizing that uh, everything is changing. Everything is, what do they say, impermanent. And the person we are today is different from the person we were yesterday. Relationships come and they go. This or relationships, even if you've been with someone for 30, 40, 50 years, finally, at one point you'll have to say goodbye. You know, Buddha himself said, all meetings end in parting. Everything that gathers together eventually disperses. If we understand that, this is the nature of our world, if we can understand that point, then we can be a bit more freer um, with uh, relationships, we can be less clingy and be more independent, actually. Um, we can have more fun. If we really want to have fun and enjoy our life, uh, letting go of our attachments is one of the most power powerful ways of doing that. Which is quite interesting, because initially it seems, oh, if I let go of my attachments, I won't have any fun. I won't enjoy myself. But in reality, letting go of our attachments opens the door to being free and really extracting the essence of our life. 
so then when we come to sit down to meditate, because don't forget this, this is a meditation tip, you know, so if we can start to become more in tune with impermanence, the way things are changing all the time, look at the seasons, look at everything around us is changing our body, our environment, we can become more in tune with that instead of believing that things don't change. We can go with the flow of change, be able to let go when we need to. Then, of course, when we come to sit down to meditate, our mind is more flexible, it's lighter, it's looser, and we have more clarity because there's less attachments in our mind, you know, disturbing our ability to feel peaceful and calm. This is one of the first tips about letting go. Talk a lot more about it. But it's definitely worth reflecting on. To let go, you know, we need to do more than just tell ourselves, let go, let go, because the moment after we've told ourselves to let go, we've clung on again. <laughs> you know, um, it's a mental process, it's a training. Um, and one of the interesting things as well about letting go, if we can let go, remember this is a mental training, not, not necessarily a physical one, if we can let go mentally of the people around us, then we can actually love them more. We open the door to be able to have a, a kind of a more open love and peace in our mind towards them and less neediness and expectation which makes all our relationships more successful. Okay, so thanks for tuning in to this meditation tip and I look forward to speaking to you again, meeting you again. Bye for now.